Talislanda is a fantasy role-playing game written by Stephen Michael Zecchi and published by Bard Games in 1987. There have been six different English-language editions and several foreign-language editions published. All English-language products of Talislanda are now freely available via a Creative Commons license. In 1982 Stefan Michael Zecchi, Stephen Cordovano and Verney Taylor formed the company Bard Games to produce their own Dungeons and Dragons supplements. In 1986, Due to personal and financial disagreements that arose after the publication of the Atlantis trilogy, Zeki sold his shares in Bard Games to Cordovano and left to begin work on a new role-playing game system and its supplements. Cordovano decided that he did not want to run Bard Games and sold it back to Zeki, giving Zeki the opportunity to publish his new game, Talislanda. After publication of the rules in the Talislantan Handbook in 1987, Zeki also published three supplements, The Chronicles of Talislanda, a Naturalist Guide to Talislanta, and Talislanta Sorcerer's Guide. In 1988, Bard Games published a second edition of Talislanta starting with the Cyclopedia Talislanta. This 88-page softcover book included continental and local maps, a listing of urban centers and important geographical features, an expanded list of flora and fauna, new character types, new types of transportation, and variant rules. In 1989, Bard Games released Talislanta Handbook and Campaign Guide, a 152-page softcover book that combined the Talislaton handbook and material from the three supplements. The book included, in 1990, Bard Games published Talislanta World Book, a 183-page atlas of the world of Archaeus and the continent of Talislanta. Shortly after publication, Bard Games went out of business. In 1992, Wizards of the Coast, at the time a new, small, and relatively unknown company, acquired the license to Talisland and original designer Stephen Michael Zecchi collaborated. With Jonathan Tweet to produce the third edition rules that included, Watt's final Talisland book was the full-length campaign Subman Rising by Robin Laws. In an announcement printed on the last page, Watt announced that this would be the last Talisland book from Wizards of the Coast, Talisland products would now be published by Daedalus Entertainment. A small Canadian company that had produced the game Feng Shui. However, Daedalus went out of business before its version was published. In 1997, Ferris Press acquired the license to Talislanda in order to produce a new edition of the game in time for the 10th anniversary of Talislanda. Ferris had an ambitious plan to expand and revise all previously published material, then combine it one book. Plagued by production delays, Ferris got as far as producing a few Ashgans, but failed to publish a product by the end of the year. Because they had missed the 10th anniversary, Trademark holder Stephen Michael Zecchi rescinded their license. A small company called Shooting Iron acquired the license and in 2001 produced Talislanda Fantasy Roleplaying, a 502-page fourth edition that was largely based on the never-published Ferros Press 10th Anniversary Edition. Shooting Iron also published the supplement Midnight Realm in 2005, a 152-page book detailing the plane of existence known as the Darkness, but then relinquished the license. Morrigan Press acquired the license to Talislanda and published the following supplements under Shooting Iron's 4th edition rules. In 2005, Morrigan Press released Talislanda D20 edition, a new version adapted to the D20 system. In 2006, Morrigan Press announced the upcoming release of a 5th edition that revised the magic system slightly and provided a variant character generation system. Over the next year, four books were released. In 2008, Morrigan Press went out of business. Talislanda has been translated into several languages, including Italian, German and French. The French edition, published by Ludopades editors, is based on the fourth edition rules by Shooting Iron, and has resulted in seven books and seven PDFs. Stephen Michael Zecchi kept the trademark and copyright on all English-language Talislanda products, and in 2010, made all those editions of the game freely available under the Creative Commons license. The game is set in Talislanda, a continent on the world of Archaeus. Magic is common and has reached a high level of technology. Creator Stephen Michael Zecchi points to the Dying Earth fantasy novel series by Jack Vance as the primary influence, but there are many other sources of inspiration as well. Including H.P. Lovecraft's Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath, Marco Polo's Travels, and Sir Richard Burton's collection of the Arabian Nights. As Rick Swan stated in The Complete Guide to Roleplaying, it's as if H.P. Lovecraft had written Alice in Wonderland, with Hans Christian Andersen and William S. Burroughs as technical advisors. In the first to fourth editions, characters are essentially pre-generated, with over 80 character types defined by race, nationality, 
ability scores, skills, equipment and background. Players pick the type of character they wish to play, then individualize it by increasing one ability by 3 points, decreasing one ability by 1 point, and adding an additional skill. In the 5th edition, a more complex character generation system was introduced that was similar to other role-playing games. All task resolutions, whether for combat, magic or skill slash attributes, are resolved on a single table using a 20-sided die. Five results are possible, mishap, failure, partial success, full success or critical success. The difference between the result gained and the rated difficulty of the task indicates how much of a success or failure was achieved. Stuart Week reviewed Talislana for White Wolf No. 11, rating it 9 out of 10 overall, and stated that the true strength of Talislana is its uniqueness. Here is a fantasy world without orcs and goblins and all those. Standard enemies, I highly recommend this world as a place where your imagination can run wild. In the March 1989 edition of Dragon, Jim Bambra called Talislana something out of the ordinary. Bambra found the art visually appealing, and does an excellent job of conveying the atmosphere, places, and peoples of Talislanda. A flick through. Any of the four books reveals that Talislanda is special, he concluded, some may find the Talislantan game system thin on rules and mechanics. But it does an admirable job of handling all kinds of tests without interrupting the flow of the game. With only a few rules to learn, you can concentrate on role-playing rather than rule-playing. Thanks for watching.